Welcome to Math We Know. X and Y are positive integers. X squared and plus Y squared is 2009. Solve the value for X plus Y. How nice it is. How should we start solving it? Now, take a look at this equation. The right hand side is a number 2009. And the left hand side is X squared and plus Y squared. Because from x squared plus y squared, we cannot get the value of x plus y, or the relationship of them, directly. So our first step should be some changes of this number, 2009. Normally, we have to factorize its prime factors. And you can find out that it is equal to 7 then times 7, then times 41. It can be written as 7 squared. So it's 7 squared, then times 41. Glad. This squared, we all like it. Since the left hand side is x squared, then plus y squared, and the right hand side can be regarded as 7 squared, then times 41. So, does it mean that 7 squared is a divisor of x squared and y squared? We don't know. We have to prove. How should you prove it? By using modulo. This video, maybe it can help you to prove it. And then, we can find out that x and y both should be the multiplus of 7. 7 is a divisor of x or y. We should, or we can, do some substitutions. If we do some substitutions, and we can let x is equal to 7 then times a, maybe, and y is 7 then times b, since they are both multiplus of 7. Substitute them into our original equation, x squared then plus y squared. So x squared then plus y squared is equal to 2009, where x is 7 times a, and then squared. By the way, a, b are both positive integers, since x and y are positive integers. 7a then squared then plus 7b squared. This 2009. We have factorized it, 7 squared, then times 41. Seven a all squared is equal to 7 squared times a squared. 7 b all squared is equal to 7 squared and then times b squared. And then 7 squared times 41. One. We can divide the both sides by 7 squared, and then it will become a squared plus b squared is equal to 41. Now, this equation has the same form as our original equation. But, what are the differences? There is only one difference, that is, the left hand side is not so large as 2009. 41 is less than 100, less than 50 even. But 2009 is greater than 2000, is too large. For dealing with 41, we have to consider the square numbers which less than 41. For a squared and b squared are both square numbers. The square numbers which are less than 41 is, the first one is 1, of course it is. The second one is 2 squared, is 4. The third one is 3 squared, 9. And then 4 squared, 16. 5 squared, 25. 6 squared, 36. And 7 squared, 49. So these six numbers 
We should find out two numbers from them where the sum is 41. 36 and plus 25 is bigger than 41. 36 and plus 16 bigger than 41. 36 and plus 9, no. 36 and plus 4 is less than 41. 25 then plus 16, you can find out that their sum is 41. And if you add 25 to 9, it will be less than 41. 16 then plus 9 is also less than 41. So only 16 and 25 are possible. So A squared is 16, B squared is 25. Or A squared is 25, B squared is 16. So our solution pairs of A, B. Two solution pairs of A, B. Uh, not 16. A squared is 16, so A is 4. B squared is 25, B is 5. Or A is 5, B is 4. And the solution pair of X, Y. X is 7 times A, 7 times 4 is 28. Y is 7 times B, 7 times 5 is 35. And then 35, 28. Two solution pairs of X, Y. But we have to solve for the value of X plus Y. In each case, we have x plus y is equal to 28 plus 35 is equal to 63. Since 28 then plus 35 is equal to 35 then plus 28. So the value of x then plus y is 63. 28 then plus 35 is equal to 63. Did you get it? And give me some thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.